She's the face of the franchise. Lindsay Harding has been a slam dunk as the first ever black female head coach in the NBA G League. I just want to do my best and be able to sleep up well at night. And if I do that, uh, then I'm happy. Her love of sports started early. I, I want to run track in the Olympics. That was my thing. I, uh, gymnastics was probably my first love love. I did soccer. I did, I did uh, volleyball and then I uh, started with basketball. My first year playing basketball in junior high was the first year the Houston Comets and the WNBA kind of started. So watching those women was uh, very inspiring for me. And uh, I made a goal right then and there. I wanted to play in the WNBA. After playing at Duke, Harding was the number one overall pick in the 2007 WNBA draft. And I played about 10 years in the WNBA and Got a chance to play in the Olympics with the Belarus national team, uh, worked with them, and uh, had a great, pretty long career. Harding never imagined her next shot at staying in the game would be on the sidelines. Wanted to do more front office and started to coach, and here I am, and I love it. She was a scout and a player development coach for the 76ers, then an assistant coach for the Sacramento Kings before her barrier-breaking promotion in Stockton. And, and I don't take it lightly. I, I'm fully aware that there's a lot of little girls that do look up to me. Harding's credibility goes beyond her lengthy basketball resume. Majority of this league, as well as in the NBA, are African-American men. They are like my brother or my cousins. There's a level and understanding of upbringing, of background, of culture. Uh, there's ways that I can connect with them due to my similar experiences. Harding's style with a focus on team ball is paying off. The team ranks number two in the Western Conference. I just want to enjoy every minute the wins, not enjoying the losses, but like sitting in it because this is going to go quick. Okay. Look at the backspin. You want it backspin. Not right. that she needs my two cents, but I think another mark of a great coach showing this journalist who's never stepped foot on a professional court how to land a basket in just a few yeah. seconds. Now reach up. There you go. That was good. There you go. There you go. Let's In Stockton. Brandy Cummings, KCRA 3 News. <laughs> Celebrating Black History. That's why she's a great coach, right? Mm -hmm. The Stockton Kings have 14 wins and seven losses this season. Their next game is on Wednesday at Adventist Health Arena. And you can watch our KCRA 3 special project community celebrating black history coming up this Wednesday. We'll have stories of influential leaders and community members breaking barriers. That's coming up Wednesday at 730 right here on KCRA 3.